Butterfly Pattern, Introduction to Harmonic Patterns. The Butterfly Pattern. We're looking at two illustrations here of what a harmonic butterfly pattern looks like, differentiated by specific measurements, namely the B point at the 786. And we'll get into the specifics here, look at some examples in a minute. But these are the structures that have become the industry standard. Now again, in the butterfly, the precise 786 B point is what defines the structure. We also look at other measurements like the BC projection and an equivalent AB equals CD pattern. That's a minimum requirement. Sometimes we see an alternate 127 ABCD as that's the most common in this structure, but typically we're going to see one of those two variations. Now we look at the 1.27 XA projection. That's the most critical number in the potential reversal zone. And it's the only XA projection. We don't use a 1618 in the butterfly, just the 127. Here's a bullish butterfly. And we look at this M formation starting at our X point with an A, B, followed by a C point. That C point cannot exceed the A point. That's the definition of an M formation. The B point is at that precise 786, much tighter than other extension patterns like the crab or deep crab. In fact, this B point has to be at a 3% uh, confidence interval, plus minus 3%. So this could be 75% or as much as 81 on the top side, but that's how tight that B point is. This sets up the other measurements like the BC extension of a 1618 or as much as even as a 224 to all complement this 1.27 extension. Looking at this Australian dollar 15 minute chart, here's a perfect M formation with your B point right at that 786, almost exact. That sets up our ABCD extended structure as well as the 1618 measurement. All of those define this area that complements the primary 1.27 extension it's down at 99.50. That gives us the ballpark where we look at. We utilize this 141 level as the stop loss. And look at the illustration of the potential reversal zone. Normally, the harmonic support stacks up like this with a minimum AB equals CD measurement, followed by our BC complementary uh, projection, and then the primary 1.27. Now, the key is to see that reversal right at the 127 or just beyond while not taking out the 141. That's where we put our stop losses right beyond there. So in this uh, example of the Australian dollar, look at the potential reversal zone. That area between 99.50, 99.60 really pinpointed the harmonic support. Even though it exceeded it slightly, look where the 141 was down at 99.35. So you put your stop loss, maybe 99.30, 99.25. But this is the action we want to see at the completion of the pattern. The bearish butterfly pattern is a W extension formation. Starting with your X point, go to the A. The B point, again, very tight at the 786, has to be plus minus 3%. That is the rule. Sets up our other C point retracement, again, Within the W structure, C point cannot exceed A. That gives us our W formation to do our measurements up here at the 127. This 1.27 X to A measurement all possesses all the three numbers we're looking for to define that zone. Here's a fantastic 15-minute chart of a bearish butterfly. This is on the S&P continuous contract. Look at all of these numbers here, namely the XA level with the real near perfect 786 B point. That tells us this is a butterfly and we look at the 127 area. Now that potential reversal zone again gets stacked like this where we will encounter a minimum AB equals CD, sometimes an alternate projection, but that has to be tested. Then we're looking at the best BC number that fits closest to this 1.27 XA measurement. Again, the 141, that's the make or break, putting stops above that level. Here's that potential reversal zone, and look at what happens here. We come up, we hit this area, go sideways, 
our 141 area is above here, never was tested. And then we get that immediate reaction down to our first target. But look at the numbers, the 127XA, perfect. 1618 BC extension, and then our alternate ABCD all stacked up to give us that ideal bearish butterfly zone. Butterfly pattern conclusion. Again, this is a W or M structure defined by a precise 786 B point. That's the key. That's the differentiation between all other similar type structures. That's how we know. We look at the 127 XA level and in combination with the minimum AB equals CD gives us the best setups. Now, the valid, bu valid butterfly patterns must reverse after hitting that 127XA leg. Really important. We see a lot of butterfly patterns that actually will exceed that area, indicating an early failure. So that action at the 127 really defines the validity of the opportunity. And look for that price action in the potential reversal zone to exhibit the reversal behavior immediately thereafter. If not, then you've got a likely failure on your hands. For more information, access harmonictrader.com and sign up for our free basic membership. This has uh, full videos and webinars on patterns such as the butterfly and other harmonic pattern strategies. If you have any questions, reach out, send us an email at harmonictrader at harmonictrader.com.